and welcome to the Saitama Stadium. And our live game is Japan against Argentina. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. National anthem of Argentina rings out. Japan proudly line up for their national anthem. The lineups we've just been given. Away. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? It has to be Sergio Aguero, uh, the pocket dynamo, a brilliant little player whose who squat build gives him that sharper edge in, in redirecting his movement to escape defenders. He is one of the very, very best. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Argentina must be pretty concerned about this fixture pileup. Yeah, and when you've got fixture congestion, it only takes an injury or two and it can heat more pressure on you know, a very difficult spell. Hits one! Goal! And what a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on, this could be rather exciting. from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Japan have an early lead, good start. And it's Lavezzi. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Tries to dink it in, Kagawa. A chance! Referee's given a throw. Hasabe. Whipped in. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And the volley. And it's Shibasaki. There's a pattern developing in. Hot knife through butter, 
They have done it again. Two-goal lead, whistle's gone, that's a foul. Japan are on fine form, so far as goals are concerned, they have scored in five games running. Lavetsi. Messi plays it backwards, and they'll try again. Now it's Kagawa. Looks to slip it through. can get it clear. Belts one. It's bounced out. Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Big chance! He's done very well to get to that. Well, I can only add that. He's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Clears it out of harm's way. He's had a shot! Aimed long and direct. Well positioned to make that interception. Tries a through ball. Chance! Kagawa drills one in. It's anyone's ball! Nagatomo has given away a free kick. Mascherano. Come back to the keeper. Otamendi. Mascherano. Plays it out to the wing. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Lavezzi gets into some space. It's a ball kick. Aguero with the ball through. Lavezzi, promising cross. Gets up to head it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Messi created that super goal to produce a lead in their last game. And it's Pastore. Now the pass. And the finish! And the follow-up. Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Shibasaki passes it through. Nagatomo drives forward with purpose. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Trying to 
away, and it is a goal kick. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Kagawa, Otamendi battles to win it back. Keeper's got good distance on that. Where to from here? Shibasaki with the foul. And it's Aguero. Aguero! Fantastic! That is classic Kun Aguero! And right on half-time, that is telling! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. First half to a close. Well, it's still anyone's game, as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Japan and into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. goes and we start the second half Honda boots it upfield Inui Shibasaki with a long pass out wide that's a throw Kagawa, can he finish? Marcos Rojo can hoist it clear. Now it's Okazaki. Argentina were impressive in their last outing and brilliantly orchestrated by the manager. I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top and he tweaked the system to sort it out. And what I like is that he doesn't hold back, he's got that who dares wins mentality and he really goes for it. And it's Inui. Zabaleta gets into the right position to intercept. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Yoshida tries to get it forward quickly. Inui. Decent progress down the left. Pastore. And it's Di Maria. Well played, he saw that coming. Hasabe is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Inui. it upfield Di Maria needed to come up with a better ball I timed this run brilliantly and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then and I think he's letting him know right now about that just a little more behind it was needed Okazaki Okazaki plays it in Messi a long forward pass. Looks like a good ball through. Lavezzi.
Nagatomo. Now the pass. And the flag has stayed down. Defence has got rid of that. Shots on. Kagawa shoots! Oh, didn't catch it right. But there wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot. It was worth a try from there. Kagawa. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Honda with the ball through. It's a loose ball. Looks to slip it through. A real chance to break. Yoshida concedes a free kick for that. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. He does seem to be in considerable discomfort. Do hope it's nothing serious. Yeah, he was just a little too eager to get his chance away there, and it could have level matters. Japan, their final change. <laughs> it's Uchida. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Kagawa. Get the pass he's looking for. Uchida. Inui with a definite fell there. has got good distance on that. Japan. And that will be the final act. Japan win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it, perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Listen, there was a real concentration on wider attacking outlets, and they got their tactics spot on. They found a vulnerability and played on it to the full. It was clever and superbly executed. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.